Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. I wanted to make a real quick video today for any of you guys who are working on a Nissan uh, that has a misfire and you're trying to identify which cylinder is misfiring, but you come to find out that Nissan doesn't give you a misfire counter. Unlike a lot of other manufacturers, they will give you a misfire counter uh, within the OEM uh, scan tool or software. Uh, Nissan does not provide that. Uh, so there's another method that I want to show you how you can get the information that you're looking for and It's by not going into the Nissan, but going into the global OBD2 mode So whatever scan tool you're using if you're using a snap-on I'm using the maxi DOS today from Autel uh, You can go into the global mode and you can pull up this information uh, pretty much from any uh, global OBD2 scan tool that uh, will gives you access to the database so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. Uh, and a lot of times with Nissan, uh, even though like there's obviously a single cylinder that's misfiring, the misfire counters on the Nissan are so, uh, I guess you could say inaccurate that it, it always pulls up the same code. And you're always gonna see this PO300. I mean, rarely will you see a PO301, PO302, you know one that's indicating which cylinder is misfiring a lot of times with Nissan you're just gonna see this PO 300 and you're gonna be scratching your head and running around in circles uh, anyway so uh, what we're gonna want to do is go into see this number eight onboard monitor test and I'm gonna go to Nissan and so this gives you access to the onboard monitors uh, so this information is actually, it, it's not current, like it's not, it's non-continuous. So it's it's not happening right now. It's information from the last trip. So every time you shut the vehicle off and then turn it on, you're completing a trip. Uh, so, or I mean, shut, turn the vehicle on and then shut the vehicle off. Either way, you get, you get what I'm saying. So what you're seeing is from the past trip. Uh, anyway, so we'll go down here. You can look through all these, you're going to see these dollar signs and a bunch of you know whatever uh, you're just gonna want to scroll down till you run into misfires all right so the misfire data we're gonna want to scroll and look through each cylinder so we're gonna scroll down and so here we have misfire for misfire uh, cylinder data for cylinder number one uh, if you look we have zero counts on both of these so then we go to cylinder number two and let me just kind of page down on this. Uh, let me go back up. I don't want to confuse you. So for cylinder number two, uh, you'll see this right here. It says zero, but what you're looking for is this uh, this number right here. Well, this is happening because I just recently cleared the memory and I started the vehicle up because I wanted to clear all this information. So that's why you see a zero here. But the number that we're looking for is right there. So you see 1,543 misfires on cylinder number two. Uh, let's just keep going down the line and see if we see anything else. All right, so cylinder number three, <clears throat> it's got 29 misfires. Cylinder number four, it's got 17 misfires. And cylinder number five has zero. And cylinder number six has got zero. So right away, we can tell which one is our culprit here. Uh, sometimes, like I said, the misfire counters are not perfect. So sometimes you can have uh, a dead cylinder that's that's causing uh, enough, I guess you could say, variation within the crank signal that it's causing other cylinders to count as misfires as well. Uh, even though they're not really misfiring, uh, they're they're counting just erroneously because this is misfiring. This is misfiring so bad. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope this information helps you out. Uh, it'll help you identify which cylinder is misfiring. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always comment down below. And if you like the video, please like. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.